Alright, here we are. It's everyone's favorite part of the GM mode, the offseason. So there's going to be quite a bit of roster turnover, I feel, in this particular offseason. Um, we have a good bit of uh, free agents going on. I uh, went through and kind of like mini calculated how much it's going to cost to retain some of these players um, and what contracts I want them on. So that's going to speed up what's usually the longest part of the offseason up to this point. Um, I don't expect, you know, well, freaking, were we scouting the OHL again? Um, I thought it was in the dub. Do I have anything on anyone in the dub? I have Merkley. Um, who I might draft with my first round pick. I'm just going to go back to the dub. Um, so, um, we're going to do awards and then we're going to get right into the draft. Um, and uh, I know how much it's going to take to, to re sign most of our players. Um, my. Six players that are unrestricted, or a couple that are my four players that are unrestricted. There are three players I'm going to re sign that are unrestricted are Ribeiro, Frains, and Yager. Um, Fisher and Santarelli are going to be gone. Um, so that means we have an opening for an alternate captaincy um, that I don't know whom, and I might leave it vacant briefly, or I also might give it to Yager. Um, and. Uh, and then, as far as restricted free agency, I want to get back Forsberg, Colin Wilson, and Mike's or not Mike Santarelli, um, Craig Smith. I wrote down Santarelli as a question mark. I might re-sign him depending on how much cap space we have. Um, at the same time, I know I have to trade one particular player, which is Victor Stahlberg. Um, I'm hoping though that um, I know our top line is going to stay together. However, Mike Fisher gone, that opens up a left wing spot on the top line, and I'm thinking that's going to go to. Um, Who's his face? Um, Kale Yarncroft, who's already in our organization. However, I'm gonna re I'm gonna sign a third line scorer um, because then he can either like fill in that role on the second line if we need him to, or he can just be there on the third line, um, adding to one of the top third lines in the NHL. Or we can put Craig Smith up there if he uh, progresses well, um, or he can take that third line center spot. Gostad, I think, is gonna move to a fourth line role or be traded. Um, I haven't really thought that far ahead. That would be a move I make in the offseason, obviously, though. So, Eric Brewer, Sheldon Saray, Sammy Salo, retired, Zdeno Char, Oli Jokinen, who was on the Bruins. I thought he was... I don't even remember who he was traded to, to be honest, um, after um, he was on the lease. I don't remember who he was traded to. Um, I don't think it was Boston, though. Uh, Ray Whitney, um, who finished... I, don't, I thought he was more of a point-per-game player than that. Um, Sean Horkoff, Andrew Ferentz, Brian Campbell, and William Mitchell. So they're going to have a new captain, too. Um, Merrick Zidlicki. What was he on? Did I not move him? I must have not moved him. In the, I probably missed a couple of players. It's not that huge of a deal. Uh, Bryce Salvador. I had Devils fans probably glad that he retired. Scott Gomez. Um, Yarmir Yager actually retired. I did not think he was going to do that, even though he went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, I thought he was going to get. I thought he was going to try and come back for a couple years and try and get 800 goals. But I mean, he still finished with almost 2,000 points. So uh, Matt Cullen retired as well. Ruslan Fedotenko, I expected. Lubomir Vesnovsky, Eric Bolton, uh, Dan Boyle retired out with the Stanley Cup, his second of his career, I believe. This would be his first. Is not a. I don't. I think he was a captain the first. I want to say he was the captain of the Lightning when they won the Stanley Cup, but I'm not 100% sure. Le Cavalier or Richards might have been. I think my, Le Cavalier might have been their captain already. Um, Stefan Robida and uh, a couple uh, Hanzus. Joe Ed Jovanovski retired. No, that was surprising. Simone Gagne, former 50 goal scorer. I believe he scored 50 goals once. Matias Olin finally retired. It only took him long enough. He didn't play in like four years. Um, if he's the one I'm thinking of anyway. I didn't check goalies either. Um, continue. Um, so we're going to do awards. And uh, we really, now we have a bad second line situation. So we're going to have to assess that. Um, we could always trade, make trades too. So Stanley Cup went to New York Rangers. President's Trophy, Nashville. Princess Campbell, Nashville, Prince of Wales, New York. Art Ross went to Pavel Datsuk. Hart, Pavel Datsuk. James Norris went to Drew Doughty. Lady Bank, Phil Kessel. Calder went to Evgeny Kuznetsov. It would have gone to Forsberg if he wasn't, you know, if he was classed as a rookie. Conn Smythe, obviously, Henrik Lindfist. Vesna went to Pekka Rene. Expected that. It'll probably go to him this year, too. William M. Jennings went to Miel Neuwirth and Yaroslav Halak. Um, 
Masterson went to Mike Weber, uh, Selkie Datsuk, Lindsey Datsuk, Risha Schrard, Ovechkin, that's his third in a row, and I believe the sixth of his career. Um, and I think that's the last thing we had to look at, yeah. Okay, so let's get into the offseason. First up is the draft. So um, I'm gonna look at draft um, central. I'm gonna go all. I'm gonna go all in with the draft because I want to move up. I want to move up and get a solid prospect. Um, so let's look at scouting central. Um, see where everyone's mocked at. So Connor McDavid, Oscar Kylington. Oliver Collington, Matthew Barzell, and Nicholas Malak, um, Strandstrom, so Fanjoy, Knesny's mocked all the way down here. Um, Lawson Kraus, um, Pavel Zaka. Okay, um, goalies. I feel like there's a lot of goalies in the top. Like, yeah, there's a lot of goalies going up here. We don't need a goalie, obviously, so we might be able to take advantage of that. Um, and I'll see if team standings are still there, so that. Um, I can figure that all out. Obviously, we're not going to get Connor McDavid. Um, scouting report. So let's see what the top players um, that we scouted were. Um, so if it ever loads, um, we got this. Uh, Mo not Malak. Um, where did they? I thought we had a foreign or a four-star guy scouted. I thought anyway. Um, I don't know now. Um, we'll look. Um, so Pilon, I don't want. I don't need a defenseman. Not looking at defensemen. Um, these are all defensemen. Um, so that's already that. I look for someone where we don't like 100% know, but he's also a first rounder. Um, so Strom, I believe, is a four and a half red or a four gold. He's got 82 slap shot power. Um, but their power is already like always a lot better than anything else. So um, there's that to look at. Um, I got to save too. Um, Fanjoy, two-way forward, not interested. Um, yeah, well, we'll see his measurables and stuff. Um, his attributes. I didn't look at Strom's measurables. Um, he's right-handed, so he'd be a left winger or a center. Um, we know shot blocking 64. He's definitely not ready for the NHL right away, but he could be an okay prospect. We'll we'll remember him. Um, Davies, Bailey, Konesny. Now here's the thing. I feel like Konesny's a really good player. Um, we'll look at his stats. He's 5'11. He's a great skater. It looks like not so great physically. Um, good defense and good shooting. Um, so that's good. Uh, I might move up for him. Um, I, let me look at his measurables again. I think he was six foot something. He's like over 200 pounds. I might have to like pretty much move up for him. Um, no, he's 5'11", 160. You know what? Let's get him. You know what? We can't stick to the 100% like, oh, we're big and rough philosophy. Um, you know, we need people to score for us. Um, so, um, let's look at team standings from the last season and see where people are picking. So we can go in knowing, well, we'll look again, but we just want to know who's kind of, like, I'm going to go 17. Um, so we got the Canadian, uh, this is non-playoff teams? Or is this, this includes, okay. This is, okay, I was going the wrong way. Um, okay, what the, f okay, it's just showing us. The name of show made the playoffs, so. You know what, it's better off going in here and figuring everything out from there. Um, not having Yager back sucks, but I mean, we coped without him for half the season and we still won a President's Trophy. Um, let's try Montreal or Washington or LA. So, let me get a pencil, pen. MTO, Washington, LA. Uh, I wrote my T rear and it looks like a backwards J um, on my paper. So let's make a trade with, we'll try Montreal first, get the higher like, we're going to go in order, we're going to try Montreal first. Um, so their pick for our pick, um, what else would they want? Um, ooh, it looks like we might have to trade up a pretty good prospect for them. Um, we're at a Gostad, he's uh, got a couple years left. 
Um, he's only going to play the fourth line for it. Ooh, actually, we should get rid of Stahlberg. Um, and we'll throw in a future third round pick for this, and we'll also take back one of your shittiest players. Um, who's got a one year contract? None of them. Um, I want someone with only a one year contract. Um, this guy. Um, see not. Is that a salary cap thing? Yeah, okay. Um, so we need someone with a salary. Um, Alright, so let's go up. See someone with a good, like, size salary with really low trade value. Um, Prust. Sure, we'll take Prust back. Um, we threw in a third. Alright, let's see if that goes through. Alright, gone through. So we got the 15th overall pick. Um, let's see. Knesny did not go. Okay, so we probably moved up a little bit too far. But at the same time, there's so many goalies that went. At the same time, I uh, I wanted to make sure that we actually got him and he's actually started right at this pick. So we're going to get Travis Knesny. I feel like that's a great pick for our team. Um, and we'll actually scout. We'll, uh, we'll do the rest of the draft normally. Not going to trade. Um, we got Stahlberg's contract off the books, and uh, actually probably trade Brandon Prust. Um, Vinny Laquette, not for a first round pick, not happening. Especially he's 85 overall, and that's nice. Um, how many points did he put up last season? He's not worth the first round pick, I just want to know. Um, I also don't think he's really an 85, yeah, he only had 40 points, not, not worth it. Not worth it at all. Um, he was great when he was in Tampa, but they bought him out at the right time, I think. That's my opinion opinion anyway. Um, so we'll look here at what's left. Um, ooh, Joshua Chapman. He's a defenseman, so there's that minus. However, um, he's, he is a player that we have scouted that we know is four stars. Whoops, that's not the right thing. We know he's four stars. We know he's going to be good um, trade value-wise. So we could always trade him, or he could take the spot later on of someone on our team that's going to get too expensive or um, just not be good. Um, so we'll get him now, and we'll come back and get Koala in the next round, um, if we can. It's if he's here. I don't know. I went back instead of forward. Um, doesn't look like he got taken. So we have an opportunity to get another four-star player here in this part of the draft, and we're going to get him. Um, we'll draft another round, and then we'll uh, sim for the rest of it. Um, oh, whoops. I don't want to propose trade. I do want to see what New Jersey has to want from me. It's probably going to be something stupid like Camillary. Oh, it's Patrick Eliash for second-round pick next year. Um, He's only an 84 overall. He only scored 17 goals. No, that's fine. We'll wait till free agency starts to see what kind of deal we want to make. Um, and we'll see if anyone here has guaranteed potential. Um, Luff, Matt Luff. Um, I keep I keep going too far. I hate this freaking thing. It's so retarded sometimes. Um, it's going to go the other way too, isn't it? Oh, no, I actually went that way. All right, so... Hopefully he gets this guy, because he's might have good trade value. Matt Luff. I didn't look at their overalls either. Um, we'll do that. And then we'll check in the fifth round and oh, we don't have a fifth round pick, never mind. Um, we'll go back. Oh, we gotta go forward now. Okay. Um, we'll auto draft the rest. We I forgot we didn't have a fifth round pick. We need three seventh round picks though because of that stupid uh we had to get players off our roster thing. Alright, so now that that's done, um, I'm a veteran GM now that I've done a draft. Um, or, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna draft this. Okay, that's just. Okay. Um, we'll do. No, uh, we'll wait. We'll wait until we can upgrade the, the other stuff again. So. I want to see Knesny. If he's only four stars, I'm not going to be disappointed, but I mean, I want him to be four and a half. Um, so that he can probably, like, eventually pace Ribeiro or something. Um, we're going to resign player. I probably should have gone to uh, the contract screen directly from there. 
All right. Um, we got 28 mil in cap. It looks like we're gonna look. Um, I don't. No. Oh, okay. It tried to explain it to me. Um. Okay, so we got 28 mil. Let's look at the contract situation. So, um, next year we're gonna have a lot of free agents. Um, but this year our top paid players are Shea Weber, James Neal, Roman Yossi. We're not counting Renee, obviously. Roman Yossi and Paul Gostad. Now, if Paul Gostad is fourth highest paid player, you're doing something wrong. However, we haven't re-signed everyone yet, so that's gonna change. But it doesn't look like we have a super lot of bad contracts yet. It's just the fact that our roster is super top heavy really stops us from kind of having a lot of breathing room. And the fact that James Neal signed for two more years at this low price is honestly surprising. Um, so, um, yeah, and then Pecorini is eating up a lot of our cap too with his $7 million deal. That's $14 million, almost 15, tied up into two players out of a $70 million cap. And then, you know, you want to retain players after that, obviously, too. So, um, hopefully some of our minor leaguers can step up, um, but I'm not anticipating it. So, Mike Ribeiro actually went up to an 88 overall. Um, and I just want to make sure that the, two, the deal I was going to give him before would actually still work. Um, I want to give him a two-year deal so we can trade him in the next offseason if we want to, or at the draft for a pick or something, um, if we feel the need to. Um, hold on, I got to... I had to recalculate this now because I think his asking price went up or down. Um, no, okay, we can get the same contract out of him. So instead of signing him for that much for one year, we can get him for two years at 5.5 mil. I'm going to do my UFAs first. 5.5 mil. And uh, that, or that's 5.5. 5. Um, 5.5 mil for two years. Um, and he will not regress that far in two years. And if he does, we can trade him because he's on a pretty decent contract. Um, and then Franzen I also want back. Um, now Franzen's probably more of a... Oh, first, I'm going to release Fisher. Don't have the room for him. He's going to want way too much money. Um, Santarelli will come back too. I know I'm not going to re-sign this guy. Um, all right. So I want... Um, I got Ribeiro. We're going to get Volchenkov because he's going to be cheap. Like $2 million maybe. Yeah. Um, we could probably even go down from that, like 1.75 for two years. That's solid to me. Um, and uh, Franzen. All right, Franzen's gonna want four years at five point or 4.5 million. That's what we can get him out at. Um, and that's a pretty fair price considering he's gonna be spending top two or top four time. Um, he's an 87 overall, so it's worth it. That might go down. However, I don't anticipate it going down. Um, and he could always be traded um, later on. So, um, and Santarelli, um, we'll wait. We'll, we'll go on. We'll move on. We'll move on. Santarelli, um, we'll come back to. Probably going to re-sign him just for, you know, maybe he can, you know, play him on the second line a little better year because Mike Fisher's not there. Um, and then we'll check our uh, prospects and stuff too. I know Craig Smith's got to be re-signed as well. I don't think I have him. Oh yeah, I have him written down. Um, the contract he would be after. Um, Ribeiro's back, Volchenkov's back, and Franzen's back. We still have 18 mil, so this is going to kind of be the area we can go nuts. Um, since Yager didn't come back, we're going to have about 10 mil to spend. So um, first, I'm going to release all the RFAs. I'm not going to re-sign. So that guy can go. Oh my God, this is going to. Is it really going to do this? Okay, so, so Kinesny was also only four stars. That kind of sucks, but at the same time, I expected it. Um, you can go... At home, we're going to keep. Might have progressed. Buddish, we don't need. Um, this guy, also, we don't need. Um, Beck, we can keep. Um, he might do something. Who knows? Watson up to an 80 overall, so he might be able to make the jump up the third liner this year. This guy, we can keep. Three stars. Um, and that's it. So... Um, These are all rookies. So we got this Chapman guy we haven't signed. Um, uh, he was our second round pick. He actually ended up being better than Kinesny, I think. But he's a little older. So, uh, you know, kind of expected it. And uh, Kinesny's a 63 overall at 18. Fram. Um, who's the third guy we picked? I don't even remember now. Chaddock, I think. Is this, th this is our third round pick? Or our fourth round? No, that's our seventh round pick. Jesus. Um... Kalala, that's who it was, right? Is that it? 
Yeah, third round pick. Okay. So he ended up being decent too. Four red stars. Only 18. Could could turn in something. Who knows? Um. And then I also want to re-sign any player who's three stars or more. That's 20. So this guy we can sign. This is so they fill in spots on like our minor league team. Um. This guy we can sign. Um. This guy don't need to sign. This guy can be released. Um. 20, 20, um, Sanche, we can sign him, that's a cool name, um, uh, sign Fram, uh, Chapman we can sign because he can actually play in the AHL, um, already, um, Knesny we don't need to sign yet, um, Fram, blah blah blah, Colella, Sanche, Chadak, Luff, Wrestling, alright, these guys are already signed, so I just want to double check, Fram, Okay, we're all good. Okay, so that was rookies and stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until Santarelli. Um so Colin Wilson's next. Um I can get him for four years for exactly four million dollars. Um so we're gonna do that. Um he's gonna be our second line center or right winger depending on um if we get you know, it's it all depends on the handedness. As long as you have uh you know one of each handedness on every line, you're fine. Because then you have wingers and stuff. Craig Smith is going to be fairly cheap. He's going to be worth three years, 2.5 mil. Um, and that's good because he's going to be probably our third line center. Um, I want to trade. Did I already trade Gostad or do I still have to trade? No, I just traded Stalbert. Okay. I'm probably going to trade Gostad too. So Craig Smith. And um, long, I got a. I really am surprised, but I can get Philip Forsberg on a very long-term deal. I can get him at eight years. Or, wow, his actually his price really jumps up after. Uh, no, it just jumps up over time. You only wanted like a two-year deal, yeah. If you go like here to here, it looks like it really jumped up. Um, but we can get him for eight years for exactly five million dollars, and that's a great deal because his he's just gonna jump up after that. And he's listed as a first-line forward currently, so. Um, and Austin Watson's probably gonna end up being a third liner for us. So what does he want? He wants a. He's only a depth forward listed right now. Um, but we can get him for. You know, we'll get him for one year and just bump this down to like 700k. Um, because he's not gonna be listed as a depth forward after we save and come back. Um, and Yarn Croak's actually up to an 80 overall, so he can be in third or second liner for us even. Um, and he actually only wants like that contract, so I'll sign him at the max on the. And uh, he'll jump up, and that'll be a great contract for us. Um, so those are the players I really want. Let's advance, make sure that they're back, and then we'll probably re-sign Santarelli for a year. Um, I had him calculated, but it was for two, and I don't want him for two, really. I just kind of want him so that if there's no other options in free agency, we can do All right, so Philip Forsberg's back for the next eight years, so we want to re-sign him until the very end of this last season. Um, Colin Wilson, Kelly Arncroke. Um, Craig Smith, Austin Watson, Joshua Chapman, Philip Sanche. All right, so we got nine mil left. We need to re-sign Ekholm, Bork, and these two, and then we'll just get these two for depth. Um, so I'm gonna put Santarelli on the free agent list, um, and if we need him, we can just get him back. Matthias Ekholm. Um, we'll get him for three years, even if he never turns into an NHL caliber defenseman, which he might still. Who knows? Um, if he never he never turns into one, um, I dropped my phone and my pen. Awesome, everything's flying around. Um, even if he never turns into an NHL caliber defenseman, he's good depth for the minors at least for now. Gabriel Bork wants a two-way deal. That's fine with me. Um, we'll get him for that. He might also he's gonna probably just be a fourth liner for us. Taylor Beck, power forward, um, wants one year. We'll give him three. Then we'll probably release him after that contract's over. Um, and then we'll just get these guys on three year deals as well, just to make sure our miners are still stocked up. Um, you might not even take that deal, it might have been a little bit below, below the 0.85 thing. Um, no, I don't want him on a one way deal. Alright. I don't know how exactly that works. Oh, and then goalies. Um, Carter Hutton is on his minimum deal, one way. Still though, um, we're gonna resend Helberg. I anticipate a jump in from him. However, I'm not expecting it, so I'm still gonna go after you know um, backup goalies and um, free agency. And uh, we Makarov progressed really well, so I'm not gonna bother with those other two. 
Um, and uh, we got all those guys. All right, so we should be good as far as free agents go. Um, we should have like nine mil to spend in free agency, and uh, we got a fifth phone. Uh, Beck, Bork, blah 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 blah. Okay, so that's everyone that can play. Yeah, that's everyone that can play. Um, goalies, yeah, everyone's signed for now. Carter Hutton's definitely going after the season, though I can guarantee. Um, anything else that really needs to be taken? Oh, we got to look at the kind of like. We lost two second liners from last season, so our top line is still intact. However, we have a lot of issues after that. For instance, pretty much every line underneath that um, is empty. Um, so we're going to just really be looking for everything in free agency. Um, and uh, might not be able to keep James Neal after this, and I have thought about that. Uh, over the same time, I'm not 100% sure. So we need a second line. We need a, at least one second liner, um, um, or a fringe second liner that could be a third liner. Um, and then we need third and fourth liners. Maybe later on in free agency, we can look at that. We know we have Craig Smith, who's a third liner, or can be a third liner. But um, yeah. So top free agents: Mike Fisher, Mike Santarelli, Thomas Fleischman, Sean Mathias, Brad Richardson. And Carl Soderberg. Soderberg would be an interesting option. Um, he put up 48 points last season. Could be a solid second liner. Um, good defensively. Pretty good physically. He's got four stars in at least every category, and he's a great passer. Um, he's two way forward, so that's the only real knock. I'd rather have a playmaker, but um, I think I'm going to sign Carl Soderberg for. Uh, we'll go 3.5 mil for two years. Um, that's a good bit of our cap, and I am aware of that. However, it's only two years. We can always trade him. And also, um, he fits in a role that we need on our team. And we are going to try and spend every bit of the salary cap we can. Um, and I also want to trade Gostad at some point. So um, we're going to lose out on that, too. Um, I actually, I should probably do that now. Let's see. Um, what we can get for Gostad. So, if I was to go to the trading block and uh, look at this, what would I want for Paul Gostad? What would I want for Paul Gostad? I would want um, a third line checker, sure, with a four star um, thing. Yeah, that. Um, who's got. Yeah, that's fine. I just want someone. Um, so, pff, Jonathan, okay, this is going to give me all these really ridiculous players that I don't want. Um, now, why is he himself not on there? Um, Gostad, why is Gostad not on there? I'm pretty sure he has four-star potential. I thought he did anyway. I'm not sure now. Um, Zucker. Um, here's someone I was thinking of, like a Lars Eller. Like, he's a two-way forward. Um... Not great defensively, it looks like. It's just his face-offs probably dragging him down because he's a center. Um, Brandon Sutter would be someone I was also thinking of. Um, what did he do points-wise last season? 36 points, that's pretty good for a third liner. Um, and he's on a expiring contract, so that'd work. Um, Riley Shahan. Um, yeah, he's good. He might be just as good as Brandon Sutter, is, besides points-wise, but I mean... Probably because he's playing fourth line in Detroit. Um, there's Craig Smith. We have him. Um, Chris Kreider might be nice. He would be nice. Power forward. Um, he played right wing for us. Good body checking. Um, and he put up 30 points last season. So I'd be I'd be fine with Chris Kreider, actually. Um, I just don't know why the fuck is he not on here. I thought Paul Goss had a four-star potential. He might not be listed as a third line scorer. Oh, this is just third line scorers. Okay. That's why I was doing that. No, there's a checker there, too. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, no, I checked for checker. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what's happening at this point. If I even knock it down to three and a half red, like, what, what does it bring up then? Uh, oh, Emerson Edom. Oh, no, he was already there before. Okay. Andrew Shaw would be nice, too. He'd be a good grinder. Um... I actually like him a little bit more. Um, and he's making less, so. Nick Spalling, we had him before. 
we we personally didn't have him, but he was on the team before, so it'd be kind of weird to get him back. Um, Kyle Clifford, Brandon McMillan, Alex Kalorn, Yel Yakupov, Jimmy Hayes, power forward. Um, I think the most that I like out of this is Andrew Shaw. He's young. He's on a really cheap deal, so we have more cap space this season. Well, what's it look like after that? It's a one-year deal. Okay. Maybe we can look for someone else who's a little bit better of a... What the fuck? Maybe we can look for someone who's signed a little bit more long-term at a similar price. Um, Alright. So, we'll look at who we want first and then figure it out. So, Tom Wilson. A um, lot of trade value, though, involved in that that I don't want to get involved in. Um, I definitely want someone like a Riley Shahan or... I don't want someone with an expiring contract. That's the one problem that I have. Because I'm too, like, picky. Like, I want someone on a two-year deal like Magnus PRV, but obviously slightly better. Because PRV is only an 81 overall, I believe. Yeah. And uh, his defense is not very good. Um, and his poise is not great. His skating, he's slow. Uh, I just have a lot of reasons to complain about him. Um, Dwight King would be perfect. Power forward. Good shot. Um, pretty good defense if his shot blocking was up a little, slightly more. Um, he's slow, but he's a grinder again, so... Um, and he's slightly better than Pyarby. So let's try and get Dwight King. Let's trade them Paul Gossad. Yeah, I don't know. What is he listed as now? Third line check. Yeah, he is. I don't know. Um, oh, that's freaking, I forgot. Stupid fucking Kings. They're so close to the cap. It is ridiculous. Like, they're right on top of the cap. This has already taken like 40 to 30 minutes, so. Uh, these, you can expect these off seasons to go even longer, too. Um, upwards of an hour. Um, possibly. I would not try and do that on purpose, obviously. But, um, I wanted someone to, I wanted to cut down s on salary in a good way, and also, like, while at the same time getting a long, like, at least a two-year player, um, who's young and can get better, um, and s be, like, a token third liner for us, possible, um, like, alternate captain of the future, because he's a good penalty killer or something. Like, you know, that, like, that kind of thought, not like, you know, that's definitely what's going to happen, but Emerson Eames listed as a sniper in this game. Um, Zach Cassie and Boone Jenner. He's a center, though, yeah, and he, he's good at face -off, so I'd want to play him at center. And I don't want to play him at center because Craig Smith's also a center, so. Thomas Yurko, a sniper, Riley Smith, Chris Kreider. You know what? Um, as long as we're going for gold right here. Might as well get the best third liner available out of the out of this bunch, and uh, go for it. You know what? If, uh, that's what it's that's what's happening. Take the potential off. I don't care. Then what do you give me? It still it still gives me like young players like, and I have it up to thirty six. Like what the hell? All right, let's take potential range off completely then. How about that? Oh, oh well, what? Okay. I guess I have to. No, no, is it stuck now? Okay, oh, I don't know what's happening. All right, whatever. Let's just go back to what we had before. Go three and a half. And um, if we're going for best player here, maybe we should go for Chris Kreider. Um, thing is, I don't know if Paul Goss said is worth Chris Kreider. He's not. There's a good bit of difference in that, and I'm not willing to go that far above and beyond. So, um, we do need to go slightly lower in terms of trade value. Not much lower. Um, maybe like this area, like Dwight King and Andrew Shaw. Um, Andrew Shaw, um, is probably the best player we should go for here. Brandon Sutter is making three mil. It doesn't cut down on salary, so... Um, we'll get Shaw. Uh, it is an interdivision trade, and usually I'm against those. However, this is such a minor trade that it does not matter. Um, they don't even want that. So Gostad's value is really depleted. Um, damn, we're gonna. This is a fucking battle. I'm wasting way too much time trying to trade this guy too. So I'm sorry about that. Um, and then we just need fourth liners after we do this, so we should be fine. Um, 
Holy, this is hard. Um, what about back? Maybe go like a scoring a punch for that bottom line. Oh, he's listed as a two-way forward in this game, actually. He's really offensive-oriented, though, from the looks of it. I don't know. That's just me, I guess. But um, Kalorn is nice, but he's 25, so he's gonna max out like right away. Palmieri, um, he got four stars, 24 years old. He scored like 20 goals last season. No, it was only 14. Um, and he actually had 16 points that season. Um, I want someone slight. You know what? I might just not Shaw. Um, you know we'll get Shaw. We'll throw them an extra pick too. You know whatever. Actually, we'll just give him a prospect. We'll give him this. Uh, not Chaddock because we just drafted him, and Lakshana is actually not worth that much either. Um, do we not have like good prospects at this point? They're all like defensive. Hmm. I guess we don't have like prospects that they would want. Like, is our prospect pool really that depleted? Jesus. Like, they're guys I don't want to give up. Like, gravel's worth too much for this trade. Like, that's a different situation. Um, Luff, Sanche. What about Prust? Well, uh, if I give you... No, you're going to be over the cap. Um, Sanche. I just signed them, so I really don't want to trade them because it's going to give me shit for it. Um, Sustal. What's his potential look like? Three and a half red. Yeah, we can trade Sustal. He was a seventh round pick. Um, why is that? Oh, I didn't take Prust off. Alright, let's see that. Sustal. Okay, that didn't even do it. So let's try... Give him a fourth round pick. All right, that really that tipped the scales apparently. Um, so we have Andrew Shaw now. We shaved a good bit of salary cap, and uh, it was an interdivision trade, but um, we're gonna have salary cap problems if we don't get rid of players who are just overpaid for nothing. Especially since we gotta sign um, players in this. So Steve Downey is also available. Um, he is definitely not the fighter that he is in real life. Um, I got Soderbergh already. Um, I don't have to worry about that. The only reason I'll have to worry about that is if something like falls through. So I'm thinking he's going to be a second liner. I'm thinking this is going to be the lineup. Um, you know, top line's the same. It's Colin Wilson, Kelly Arncroak, Carl Soderberg, Craig Smith, Andrew Shaw. You need another third liner. Um, another third line winger. David Moss, maybe? Um, third line winger, and then we'll look at the fourth line in a minute too. Um, um, I don't want Stoll. Um, David Jones is a sniper. I want more of a... You know, let's go for Steve Downey then. Um, it's only a one year deal. So we'll go 3.5 for him. And then we could probably get him back on a cheaper deal if we still want him afterwards. Um, Alright, well, Sim. I don't know why I Sim today, like it was a contract re signing. Um, is Alex Galchenyuk, like, re signed, or is he just on the qualifying offer? I don't know. Um, contracts, forwards. Alright, so, so. One, two, three, four. F we got the top nine, and we have Prust, Bork, Austin Watson, I want to play, and the. Major or the NHL, we can get by with that lineup. I think our fourth line being Bork, Prust, and him is not going to be off. Oh, Sean Thornton too. Sean Thornton. Okay, forgot we had him. Gives us two. I don't think Brandon Prust really has a point in being on this team at that point. That his defense is actually really good. Thornton's really just there for physicality. So um, we are going to be fine now that we got those two players. Um, as long as we actually get them. If some we don't, and then that's going to be a problem. But, um, yeah, so the free agents that we got at the deadline, and, like, the, the Predators got at the deadline in real life, you know, Franzen ended up staying on the team, so he's going to be good. Um, Soderberg and Steve Downey both took our deals. So they're both the same overall, however, they're very proficient in different things. Um, I'd like to keep both um, after this season. I Actually, well, I signed, who signed Mike Fisher? I want to see. Um, we'll stop. Cavalier being shopped around. Moss went to the Oilers. McQuaid um, is available. Frederick Anderson's on the trade block. Oh, backup goalie. Um, 
Devils have Petrie, Mark Stewart, Coyotes, Stolen to the Sabres, Como, no, da, da, da. Joe Thornton on the trade block. Mike Fisher went to the Islanders. That's interesting. All right. Backup goalie. Um, starter, starter. Okay. This is, like, becoming an issue. Like, legitimately cannot get anyone, like, who's just a backup that's not, like, a low-ass overall or a high-ass age. Like, it's seriously becoming an issue. I'm just going to have to wait for Helberg, I guess. Um, let's see. I didn't look at anyone with potential either. Um, uh, not really anything here. They were probably already taken um, by this point. Um, and we'll get Brendan Burke. Um, I actually probably should have given him a better contract, but yeah, he's not gonna sign with me now. I don't think. Um, Get this guy. What the? Hell? I want this guy with a cool name. Get him. Um, just for tr like trade, st like a throw in or whatever. Um, Byron Blum, Heaton LRB, Drayson Bowman. Really a disappointment. Um, Matt, uh, we'll get Matt Murphy, I guess, or Spiller. We'll get Spiller, and we'll get them both. We got room, I think. Alright, now we can sim up. I'm going to save and quit and then come back and do lines um, and see how everyone progressed. Yeah, I figured he was going to do that. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do, we'll see how everyone progressed, see who's uh, worth keeping on our team. Oh, actually, we're really close on contracts. Um, oh, it's probably because all our freaking shitty players are signed to the deals. Um, Carlo Coliacobo on the Jets. That's not really a sweepstakes. Um, I don't think anyone else notable is even left in free agency, so. You know, at least Mike Fisher. Mike Fisher's gone, and that sucks, but I mean, he was just not worth the money that he was going to want, and I knew it from the start that he was probably going to. Yeah. Hold on a second. Oh, I don't want Nicholas Backstrom. Actually, hmm, he could be a good backup, um, depending on his contract, obviously. Um, he's on an expiring contract. He's only an 81 overall. I don't know what his potential is going to be. Four stars. What did he do last year? Um, he was 15 and 20. That doesn't indicate anything. Ah, uh, no, it's not worth it. The year before, like the year before the. Um, our first season was pretty good though. He only gave up, yeah, 2.48, 909s. Um, he was definitely better a year before that. I remember him being better when they got Parise and, um, Not really talking, there's not a lot to talk about. Plus, I'm on my phone right now, obviously. I don't fucking. Why would I want the same trade two days later? Like, I changed my mind. I, I'm gonna. You don't want this now. Again, I'm sorry this is running really long, but. Um. You know. Whatever. At least we're not gonna have any problems meeting the minimum salary. Um, so I don't know if this is a, I'm not 100% sure this is a Stanley Cup team this season. I think there's definitely thought of it, but I don't know if it's like a guarantee like last season I expected us to at least make the conference. I don't know if I even expect a second round appearance out of this team this season. I just feel like there's a lot of drop off in depth from last season. We changed a lot of our bottom six players, and our second line is completely different. Colin Wilson's the only like, there's a lot of roster turnover. Like, of some of some of the cast is the same, but, like, we lost Santorelli and Fisher. That was by choice. But we lost Santorelli and Fisher. Yager retired. Like, crazy stuff going on. Matt Cullen retired. Um, someone else retired on her fourth line, I believe, too. I don't remember. I don't think so, actually, no. All right, so. I don't remember. I don't even see what he just asked us. All right, so. 
Um, I don't need a goalie, so I'm not going to scout that. Um, could use another forward. There's Sean Day somewhere in here, isn't there? Yeah, he's in this. Okay. A lot of defensemen. This might be the year to draft a defenseman. Right. Kierski is the guy to go for here. So we'll look at forwards again. Um, I'm going to save and quit. Um, save and exit, and then come back. Um, I'm going to save it as a new file now that uh, I've had so many recording issues. I save as like separate files now. Um, it's a good idea in theory. I probably should have been doing it the whole time, but um, I just record like I'd record like eight episodes in a row, and I'd just be on one save file, and then everything would be fucked. Um, so we're gonna come back now. I hate, I liked it last year in 14, where um, it, like your favorite team indicated who was like at the top instead of just it always being Patrice Bergeron. I at least wish you could pick what player you wanted, like instead of it being Patrice Bergeron, because I freaking I don't like Patrice Bergeron. I'm not. I hate the Bruins. I hate Boston. Like, I don't want to see his face all the time. It's already bad enough that it's on the disc in the box. Like, it doesn't need to be in the game all the time, either. Besides him being in the league. Although I have, uh, Sean Thornton. It's really just for, you know, fighting purposes, physicality. Alright, so for roster moves. We're really banking on a couple players to make big jumps, and I don't know if it's how realistic it is um, to believe that that's going to happen. So Austin Watson's going to come up. He's a third-line forward listed. Um, it looks like Ekholm. Um, is, so send everyone down. Like, don't want. I want Sean Thornton to stay up. Bork. Um, yeah, Young Crooks listed as a third-line scorer. All right, so. Um, we'll play Soderberg up, and if he underperforms, then we'll figure something out. Um, we have one. All right, let me figure this out. All right, so Seth Jones went up to an 85 overall. It's pretty good, considering he only had 20 points last season. That's pretty good. Um, looks like his shooting went up. He got a couple better in passing, and his defense is just monstrous at this point. Um, Roman Yossi went up uh, to an 87. I didn't know yo, he still has stars. I didn't know he was even like still at stars. Um, and Ryan Ellis stayed at an 84. Volchenkov uh, was maxed out already, so... Um, Ekholm didn't progress. Gravel did, so we might be the you know depth defenseman of the future or replace Volchenkov possibly. Um, but we're gonna call up Bartley for depth. Um, and then forwards wise, um, okay, I might have gotten too many players. Um, so that's our top line: 88, 88, and 88. Um, Forsberg, I don't know what he really progressed in. His shot got a little bit better. It looks like puck skills are five stars. Defense is insane. Defensive awareness 88. Um, he gets slightly better physically, I believe, too. Um, he's already 6'1", 188. So. He's our best player officially at this point. We've got a top line full of 88s. Um, Rubiro, um is still 4-star, so it's not like he's going to regress this year um, from the looks of it anyway. Um, James Neal, um, he wouldn't have gone up. Uh, Colin Wilson stayed in 86. I expected that, but he's still got a great shot. Going to score a good bit of goals for us. Hopefully another 30 goal campaign. Soderberg and um, hmm, oh Yarncrow. We're gonna be our second liners. Um, Craig Smith, um, Andrew Shaw, and Austin Watson are gonna play. Our okay, so we need one more guy up here. So let's call up Cross. All right, and Lock Shawnov didn't progress, so he's just gonna be our top line center again. Okay, so let's not that. Um, let's figure this out. All right, so Wilson, I want Yarn Croc there. What's his on side? Um, right, so it'll be a left winger for us. All right, that's good. Um, Soderberg is left-handed, so he can be on the wing. Um, I want Austin Watson up just because he's better. Um, Craig Smith and Andrew Shaw over here. Can anyone play center down here? Or am I just gonna throw someone in the middle? Um, Steve Downey got 65 faceoffs. I didn't think about. It. I obviously did not think this through, um, as you can tell. Um, I also didn't think Austin Watson was even gonna be able to play this season. So, um, yeah, he only had 44 points last season. I didn't expect a jump out of him like that, especially a jump that was like better or identical to Cal Yarncroke's jump. Um, I just didn't expect it. Like it's not. I'm not complaining. Obviously, he's an excellent player, but. Um, 
So instead of my contingency plan where it was going to be Soderberg and if Kelly Arncourt played bad, put him up, um, it's just going to be Kelly Arncourt playing up anyway. Um, we still got a team full of two-way forwards, grinders, and power forward. Actually, there's only, only one power forward. On top of the playmaker sniper. There's only one. We don't even have one sniper on the team, and that's James Neal. So, um, it's saying to put Roman Yossi there. I'm going to put him down here again. Um, Shea Weber's on this side again, I believe. Um, he's right, yeah. So, I want him on the left so he gets more points. Cody is going to get points anyway, so he's an offensive defenseman. Um, Yossi's left-handed, so he should be on the right. Seth Jones is right-handed, so he should be on the left. That works. And what is Ryan Ellis's handedness right? So let's put him on the left instead of Volchenkov, so he can get goals, possibly. Um, we're going to flip this, because... Actually, we're going to leave it like that, because last year we had, like, the third best power play doing that. So, um... I'm still wary of putting Seth Jones on the power play. Because that combination, when I had my, like when I had Ellis on the power play last year, was good because I could split, you know, Ellis here, and then it still got him top four time, which was good. And then we also like Seth Jones had um, penalty kill time. So another thing that might come up later on the season is the possibility of trading Ryan Ellis for um, a bottom, a, like a top six defenseman because he has a decent sized contract and he's going to want more when we have to re-sign him in a couple years and Seth Jones is going to want his extension soon too so again you got to keep costs on the mind when it comes to these things so um, now here's the interesting thing um, I had Craig Smith on the power play last year I had Craig, yeah I had Craig Smith on the power play last year Craig Smith last year scored 36 points um, and I don't know how much of it was on the power play. Um, five goals on the power play. I think I'm going to play him on the power play again this year. Um, oh, his shooting percentage is like way down, actually. Um, you know what? Um, I'm not going to put Downey on there, because that's an awful idea. But um, I'm going to put Craig Smith back on there. He's going to be on the right wing this time, and if he lacks, we can figure something else out. Um, but that works for me. Um, Penalty kill, Forsberg, Colin Wilson. We lost Mike Fisher, so and Paul Gostad. So that's kind of a minus when it comes to that. Um, Craig Smith is gonna be our top penalty killer now. Colin Wilson's gonna be there. I don't want Rabir on the penalty kill. I want someone with a bigger like frame. So thinking Andrew Shaw. Excuse me. Thinking Andrew Shaw. Good defensive player. Um, I don't know why he's listed as a center, unless he is an actual center. Um, four and four lines. Um, it's going to be this. And instead of that, we're going to put Soderberg. Um, he's a center. We got still have like, a shit ton of centers. Even after an off-season's worth of like changing things around, we still have a ton of centers. Um, oh, goalies are not up. Um, I didn't check goalies. Um, I want to see if Helberg progressed at all. He's an 81, listed as a backup, and rather than a minor league starter. So that's what I'm going to do. Carter Hutton, thank you for your service. However, there's a player much better than you. Well, not much. There's a player that's better than you now. So we're going to play him instead. Um, yeah, that works for me. Um, so, go over to goalies. Put Helberg in. Might, whoops. Might still get a good bit of starts, um, but right now, really, it's just because he's better than Carter Hutton, and he is, does not have two and a half star potential. Um, plus, also, uh, Makarov's up to 78, which is uh, cool. It's cool. Um, where the fuck does this guy come from? We'll put Carter Hutton in there. Um, let's scratch this guy. I'm not gonna get to play the guy with the cool name, but you know, we only got one more year, Carter Hutton. Um, so. Um, da -da -da. yeah, I think this is going to work. Um, you know what, I might upgrade my prediction regarding this team. We will win, we will, I expect this, I expect Western Conference Finals again. I expect at least that. You know, this is a solid team. The worst player on our roster is Sean Thornton, and he's a 78, and he's only there for physicality purposes on the fourth line anyway. So he's never really going to play. Um, we do have a couple rookies, um, so watch out for Yarn Croak for Rookie of the Year. Um, Austin Watson's gonna be solid down there in the third line. Um, I don't know who else is gonna be in the season in the um, NHL this season. Let's we'll look around the league at rookies um, that are gonna be in the NHL.
Um, Aberg might be ready next year. Um, but oh, that's roster moves, not. I wanted contracts. Whoops. Um, this is gonna be pushing an hour, but it's an off season, so I expect it. Off seasons are always gonna be really long, so in any game. Um, roster uh, contracts. Goalies. Um, oh, rookie skaters. Okay, so we don't. What do you mean we don't have any? Do Austin? You know, I'm gonna. Whatever. This game's pissed me off half the time. It. Oh, we haven't. Alright, we gotta send to the. Whatever. I'm. I don't care. Okay, so. You know what? Um, I think our team's good. I think our team's good to go. That's our lines one last time. Um, even strength. Other shit, I don't really care a whole lot about. Special teams are not super important. We were, you know, 19th in penalty killing last season, but we were top, like, penalty kill in the playoffs, so. Um, you know, it's all kind of, playoffs are a crapshoot, obviously, but so is this. Um, so, these are our lines, um, per defense. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me think what you expect of this team. Um, and I will see you in the next episode where you'll start Season 2 Sim. Thanks for watching, everyone.